Hey! Starting in Angular version 17, we have the option of using new techniques for building our templates. This new block template syntax replaces the ngif, ng4, and ngswitch directives with built-in control flow blocks. Why do we need a new template syntax? In this video, we first examine the new if and for control flow blocks. Then we outline the benefits and answer the why question. Here is our sample application in action. The cart page uses an ngif to display a message if there are no cart items. Let's go to the vehicle list and add some vehicles to the cart. If there are items in the cart, the cart page uses an ng4 to loop through those items and display each item's details. Now let's jump back to the code and modify the template to use the new control flow block syntax. We often want to conditionally show content based on an expression. Here we show the items in the cart if there are some cart items. But there is no easy way to define the content to display if there are no cart items. Here we use an else with the name of an ng template. And down here, we identify the else condition content. Not very intuitive. With the new syntax, instead of the ngif directive on an existing element, we build a block around a set of elements using curly braces, just like we do with JavaScript or TypeScript. A block is identified with an at symbol and a keyword, in this case an if. The if block requires an if expression in parentheses. If the cart items array signal contains any items, we show the items. Why the at symbol? The Angular team presented their design for the new control flow in a request for comment, or RFC, which they provided to the community. After extensive community feedback, the at syntax won out over any other option in readability, writability, and developer experience. Now, what about this else? After the if block, I'll insert an else block. I'll insert curly braces, then cut the element from the ng template here and paste it within the block. We no longer need the ng template element. And we no longer need the ngif directive. I'll delete this div element and this closing div element and reformat. That makes our template much more intuitive and easier to read. With the new block syntax, we can also add an else if as needed. That was practically impossible with the directive syntax. I'll add the else if here. Let's add a different message if the cart is empty because of an error. There was an error retrieving your cart. This gives us great flexibility defining conditionals in our templates. Let's ensure it still works. Bring up the browser and we see our no items message. Use the vehicle list to add some items. Then view the cart to see each item's details. Nice! Going back to the code, next let's change this ng4 directive to a for block. Add curly braces around the elements to repeat, and identify the block with at for. The for block requires parentheses and a statement defining the loop. Item of cart items. Notice that we no longer need the let keyword, making the statement a bit more straightforward. But we see an error here. The new for block requires a track property, semicolon, track, item, and I'll reformat. The track property is similar to the current ng4 directive track by, but most developers weren't using the track by. With the new syntax, the track property is required. It identifies how change detection should track each row as it's diffed. Often we can use the element itself for the track property, as we did here. Now we can remove the ng4 directive. Some community benchmarks have shown that the new four block syntax with track was up to 90% faster, especially when clearing or swapping rows. In addition, the four block now has an empty block. So instead of the if block to check for items, we could add an empty block here and add our message, no items in cart. 
The key difference is that by using the empty block, the column headers will always display. We'll see that in a moment. Now we no longer need this if block, or the else if, or else. That greatly simplifies our template. There is one more change we can make. Here's the cart component. If you are using standalone components, each component must import all of the Angular components, directives, and libraries that the component template uses. Now we no longer need the ng4 or ngif directives, simplifying our components. I'll delete the import statement as well. OK, let's bring up the browser. We see our empty message. But now, since it's part of the empty block, instead of the else block, we see the column headings. Depending on your requirements, that may not be a problem. Going to the vehicle list, we can add two items to the cart. Viewing the cart, we see both items. Our four block still works. So why did we need this new template syntax? There are several benefits to this new control flow. As we saw in the demo, the block syntax is simplified, making it easier to understand and maintain. The blocks now look more like JavaScript, making the syntax more intuitive. We get additional features such as the else if and empty blocks that were difficult to achieve with the existing directives. The block syntax improves performance, especially with the track feature of the for block. We no longer need to import the ngif or ng4 directives in our components, making one less thing we need to remember to do. The Angular compiler transforms the block syntax to efficient JavaScript instructions. Bundle size and load times are reduced because the ngif, ng4, and ngswitch directives don't need to be loaded. And most important, it makes it easier for the Angular team to add new block statements, such as the new defer block. I'll cover the defer block in a separate video. Imagine the future possibilities. This new control flow syntax is available in Angular 17 as a developer preview. It's expected to be a stable part of Angular version 18, coming out in spring of 2024. With the new control flow template syntax, we can simplify our templates, improve performance, and reduce bundle sizes. Plus, there is an Angular CLI schematic to completely automate the migration of your existing templates to this new control flow syntax. I'll cover that in a separate video. Thanks for watching, and I'd appreciate a like and a click on that subscribe button.